All right, let's talk in the moment here for just one second with Mo and Katie. In the moment is Mo's podcast, and there's somewhat of a cultural divide in his DMs over um, it being possible to get sick from being out in the cold. I was very surprised by how many DMs that I got about this topic and how many people are so split on both ends of this topic after I got sick last week. And I was even more shocked to find that Katie and I sit on opposite ends of this. So I was like, all right, we need to get down to the bottom of what's real about this science that's involved here. Because apparently, when I got sick last week, pretty much every black person that it seems in my DMs is completely convinced that it was because I was out in the cold when we did the trivia challenge and you had to take items of clothing off in the 12 degree weather. But if that's the case, why didn't Bert get sick? Yeah, I was way more naked than you. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasis on black people. Ah, uh, mm. okay, so you that's think... That's where the divide comes. Gotcha. <laughs> so you think this is a <laughs> mental divide, or do you think physically the two races, there is something different that it got you a cold and not me? So, personally, I honestly don't know. I never even thought twice about it. I, like, I believe most... I don't know if this was a white or a black thing growing up, but I, I know most black people were raised to believe that if you don't wear proper amount of clothing in cold weather or if your hair is wet and you go outside mm -hmm. or if you're not um if you're kind of not 100% your immune system is a little down then going out into the cold without the suitable amount of clothing you will get sick i've always been told that so we, i've always believed it we we were told that as kids too mm -hmm. so okay. i think it's a, it might be a southern thing as well but it's like zip up your coat or you're going to get a cold can't go outside with the wet head mm -hmm. or you're going to get a cold Put a coat on or you're going to get a cold. It, it, that was very much ingrained in us as I well. I was told the same thing, except I was raised by black parents. What? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where to go with that. We, Everybody's like, what? Well, how do we respond? How, like, how did I work with you for so long and not know that? <laughs> if you kept that in for Mo for five years, that's really jacked up, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. There's something I meant to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you could have helped me with a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so when, when I came in and you guys said that you cannot get sick from cold weather, you can only get sick from germs. So if you got sick... If I got sick and it just happened to be after we did the trivia, it must have been a coincidence and I was already coming down with something and that's probably what ended up happening to me. Which makes sense because there was two other people who went down. So there was some kind of germ spread in because Jackson was out sick, Amber was out sick and with you going out sick, it just seemed like something spread and a, a germ got shared. So your assumption here is that his immune system was already down because his body was fighting something that he didn't even necessarily know yet. Correct. But when he was out in the cold, his body was stressed. So what you already had starting kind of bloomed. Yeah. Okay. I think some of the confusion comes in too. While being cold itself won't get you sick, being cold weakens your immune system. So it has an effect, like you said, Bert, stress on your body and it, it jacks with your immune system. So yeah, if Kristen said you already had a little bug you were fighting off, then you went in the cold and your immune system was like, bye bye and mm -hmm. shut down. That allowed whatever bug you had to really ramp up. So that, that all made sense to me. And I was like, okay, maybe it played a part. It didn't necessarily mm -hmm. cause it. Cool. And I said this on my Instagram story. And then my DMs were instantly flooded. <laughs> and it was like a split of a lot of people saying that's true. I've read that. I've heard that. But there was a lot of people who were like, Mo, don't buy into that. And then I'm like, wait, what? And then I started to realize a pattern with these people. And it was all black people. <laughs> it was all black who were saying, why, if it's different for black people with how we react to the sun because of our history of a people and how we react to that, why wouldn't it be different for how we react to cold weather? One woman said she was a doctor. I didn't do my research. I don't know. I have no idea. But she claims that black people react differently to cold weather than white people do. And then there were a lot of people who were bringing up the fact that, like, um, they have white friends who wear shorts in the winter, which I do, too. Like, all my white friends wear shorts in the winter. Never get cold. In fact, I don't think they've ever been cold in life. I mean, sick in life. <laughs> I couldn't do that. The one time, the few times in life that I've ever found myself in cold weather with few, with not the right amount of clothes on, I have gotten sick. It, it could be because I was already sick before. Huh. And maybe it is some kind of coincidence that it just always seems to happen right after I was out in the cold weather. But if I am the science project and I'm in the field. <laughs> <laughs> I am, as the white person, I'm the placebo. <laughs> <laughs> Bert and I did this one time. Uh -huh. Yeah, He did not get sick and had less clothes on than me by far. But I was sick. 
That's one for one for me. I, I, I feel I feel like that's a 100% ratio. So maybe we react differently to cold weather. Well, like yes no. and no, because as you guys know, and you guys have made fun of me, like I just load my system every morning with so many multivitamins and so many supplements that it's different because my immune system probably wasn't where yours was. It's possible. It's right. possible. But so what is it? You said you and Katie on the are on opposite ends uh-huh. of the spectrum. Where are you at on this, Katie? I am against these black lies, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> there's two common black lies in a black household growing up. Are you saying black lies matter? <laughs> no, I'm saying get them no, out of here. No lies so, matter. No lies. No, no lies. lies. And one of them is that. Like, I was raised that, baby, don't go outside without your day, your hat and all this stuff. You're going to get cold. <laughs> and for the longest, I believed this because why would my grandmother lie to me? She would never. It wasn't until 10th grade when Mr. Nice, my science teacher, broke down why you actually get cold, colds in the winter more often. And it's because of your immune system. There it's you simple. It's you, you not the weather. You believe Mr. Nice over yeah. your grandmother? Yeah, I believe Mr. Oh, nice really? over my grandmother, okay? We got to okay. stop telling our kids these lies. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'm one for one as of right now. I'm not trying it again. <laughs> I was, I was going to ask, when's the next science project? I think, I think one was enough. <laughs> no, okay. yeah. The Burt Show.